I'm here with Dr. Romano to do a video on genetics. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano. I'm professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator and the author of the Orgo Man and Destroy a Book. I'd like to go over with you a really nice problem that I'm going to be doing with my study group on Facebook. And I'd like to go over it with you now so we can get a nice genetic problem under our belt. So come on in and let's have a look. It says here that a woman has hemophilia, a sex-linked recessive blood pathology, which can be said with certainty. Now, if you remember, most sex-linked diseases, such as um, colorblindness, hemophilia, even different forms of muscular dystrophy, is sex-linked recessive. That simply means that you need to have both mutant genes on an X chromosome. So in other words, if a woman is XX and one of the chromosomes has the mutant gene on it, she would just be a carrier. But if a male has it, then he has the disease. So most sex-linked disorders and pathologies are sex-linked, or X-linked, I should say even better, recessive. Now, which can be said with certainty about this hemophiliac woman? The father and mother of this woman are both hemophiliac, the mother and daughter of this woman are both hemophiliac. The father of this woman was hemophiliac, but her son may or may not be hemophiliac. And the father and son of this woman were hemophiliac, or more than one of these. So basically, I would like you to stop the tape, and I want you to think about this. And the best way to approach it is draw what the woman is. So we're going to let X... H, X, H, B, the hemophiliac woman. So let's go to the other board and let's solve the problem. Okay, I hope you gave yourself enough time to look at this. Now, the best way to do it is write out the woman is X, H, X, H. And this just means the gene, the mutant gene for hemophilia. Now, this woman obviously got one X from the mom and one X from my dad. So if she got one of these from her dad, and her dad obviously gave her one of the genes, and since they're both mutant, the dad had to be hemophiliac. So there's no question as far as that goes. Now let's look at the other one. The other one came from the mom. She got the other mutant gene from her mom, but notice that her mom could have well been hemophiliac or could have possibly been a carrier. And the mom just happened to give this woman the mutant gene. So the mom, we can't say with certainty, is hemophiliac. She could have been a carrier. All right. So the only thing I know for certain so far is that this woman's father was hemophiliac. Now let's go to a son. If she has a son... Obviously, the woman has two mutant genes, so she has to give the son the mutant gene. So the, the son would be hemophiliac. Notice that if it was a daughter, though, the daughter, on the other hand, would get one mutant gene from the mom, which is the only gene that she could give is X with an H. But the male that's going to give her the other X may or may not be hemophiliac. Nevertheless, if the male was hemophiliac, then that daughter would have hemophilia. But if the male um, was normal, then the daughter would have been only a carrier. So the only thing that we know for sure is that the dad was hemophiliac of the woman. And if she had a son, the son must also be hemophiliac. So the correct answer was choice D. The father and son of this woman are hemophiliac. You gotta be a little careful here and logically think it out, but these are some of the questions, quite verbose, that you're gonna see on the dad exam. I hope this helps and gives you a nice understanding of what to expect 